Hello everyone and welcome to coding card. So in this session we are going to solve one hacker rank problem. So you can see here the problem name is calendar module and it's under the python section under date and time. So what we have to do here in this problem is we will be given one sample date like you can see here the date is in the format of mmddyyy. So here my date is 08.05.2015. So we have to find what is the day on that day. So for example if you see here on 5th August 2015 this is 2015 calendar so if you see on the 5th August here my date is 5th August so on this 5th August my day is Wednesday so we have to print Wednesday so in this problem they will simply give one date and we have to throw which day is on that day so let me first explain you a few things over here so python have a inbuilt calendar module to play with date days years and all so let us first do few experiment like let me copy this one and paste here and also this one and let us first see from our end how this calendar is looking so let us execute this one we have to print 2015 calendar here so when I executed you can see here we have got 2015 calendar now suppose if I am changing here the year 2022 now if I execute this one so you can see here today's date is 17 and today is Monday it is giving correct date now here this parameter first weekday it means this day like here 6 means Sunday so here the first weekday will start with Sunday now if I change this parameter to suppose 0 now you can see here so 0 is coming for the Monday means if I give here first weekday equal to 0 then our weekday will start with Monday now suppose if I give here 3 so for Monday it was 0, 1, 2, 3. Then our week will start with Thursday. So you can see here. Weekday is starting with Thursday. So this parameter is for displaying the starting weekday. And this is for the year. Now if you see here in this problem, they are passing the date. Now if from this date, if I can get the if I can get this week number like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, if I can get the week number, then I can simply get the day name. Like, let me execute here. If I want to print a weekday, like these are my weekday, this is for 3 for Thursday, 4 for Friday, 5 for Saturday, 6 for Sunday. Now, for example, if I print print calendar dot weekday we have a method called weekday and here it accept the date format in yy m and d now if i pass here year 2022 month suppose first month january and day suppose today's date 17 now if i execute this one then it should give a day number so for 17 we have a day number in january if you see 17 here it's monday and for monday we have a day number for thursday the day number was 3 4 5 6 and 0 so it should print 0 over here so if i execute this one it should give 0 so you can see here it is giving 0 now if i execute for the january 20 so it should print 3 if i execute for january 20th you can see here it is giving 3 now this is giving the day number for example if i explain you here here we have sunday monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday and saturday 
for monday we have zero tuesday one wednesday two thursday three friday four saturday we have five and for sunday we have six day number so if i can get this day number then from this day number i can simply get this day day name correct like for here for january 17th we have got zero correct so if i have got here zero from this zero i can easily get this day name as monday so let me explain you here how we can get that day number so if i write here print print calendar dot for day name we have day name day underscore name this is the method okay and this is already giving us the day number correct now if i use this one over here in a list see this day name will consist of a list from 0 to 6 okay so if i can simply use this calendar dot weekday for getting the day and on the basis of day number i can simply get the day name using this method day name so if i execute this one you can see here it is giving thursday for 20th january now today's date is 17th and the day is monday so for 17th monday we have zero indices you can see here for monday we have zero now if i give here today's date 17 then it will print monday now see we are getting the correct output monday but if you see here in this problem they are getting the output in upper case so what we have to do here is we have to simply use here dot upper function now if i execute this one you can see we are getting in upper case so these two lines are our required thing so let us copy this one for a sample over here we will use here we can use this line and this line so let me paste over here and let us comment this one because we have to write code for taking the input as well so the very first thing is we have to take input so before that we have to import calendar import calendar now after this we have to take input from the user so for example suppose i am taking input from the user so they are passing this input as a string they are passing this input as a string so let us split this one for getting the dd mm and yy format so dot split and we have to split on the basis of space now when it gets splitted so these values are in integer format because here we are passing in integer format see this two zero two two one seventeen these are in integer format so what we will do here we will map to integer this input to integer now it will be mapped to integer and we have three values so what we will do here we will take one list so that all the values are in list and let us give one name suppose a so we got the input now our first thing is month so month will be so let me zoom this one so now if you see here this is the month second one is the day and this one is the year so for month we can use m equal to array of zero the very first index value for d it will be a of one and for year it will be a of two so we are ready with our input now if i can simply pass here the year y this was my month 
and this was my date that is d so it will give the weekday for today it will simply give zero now if i pass here the same thing suppose for this year if i pass y for this month i will simply pass m because we are saving month in m and for this date we are passing d now if i execute this one you can see the sample output so let us copy this one and execute this one from the custom input you can see here so if i run this one you can see here so you can see here for this date we are getting weekday number as 2 and the day is fitness day so you can see here on 8th of august and date is 5 on 2015 let us come here this is 8th of august so this is 2015 calendar 5th august you can see here so we have weekday number as 2 so you can see here for monday it was 0 for tuesday 1 and for wednesday we are getting 2 and so for 2 we have the day name as wednesday so you can see here it is giving the correct output let us comment this one this is of no use it was for our own purpose so now let us run this code So you can see here it is passing the sample test case. Let us submit this code. So you can see here it is passing all the hidden test case. So congratulations, we are done with this problem. So this was the problem in which we have to take the sample input and we have to split and convert all the splitted value into integer format and save into a list. And we know that the list will contain three values. This one is the month, date, and the year. And we have used this weekday method of the calendar to get the weekday uh, like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 0 is for Monday and 6 is for Sunday and similarly like this one. 0 is for Monday, 1 for Tuesday. Similarly, we are moving 1 by 1 and for Sunday it is 6. So from here we are getting the weekday and we have used this weekday to get the day name. And they are expecting the output in caps. So we have used the upper function to get the desired output. So that's all. So hope you have understood something new over here. So if you like this video, please do give thumbs up and subscribe to our channel Coding Cart. And stay tuned for the next videos. Thanks for watching.